What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. In the previous video we took on World 3 and now we're moving along to World 4. I mean, technically speaking, we're already halfway done with the game. I mean, I know there is World 9, but it's only like 8 levels, so it's not that long at all. Plus, in order to access that, you do need to get all the store coins, which, I mean, I know I am doing because I obviously want to do World 9, but uh, typically this game only consists of 8 worlds, so that's sort of where I'm coming from. Anyways, now that long-winded explanation that wasn't really required is out of the way, um, I gotta say, man, kind of a huge fan of World 4. The whole tropical environment thing is just really nice, it's pleasant, pretty to look at. The music is also pretty dope, like the steel drum, always a fan of that in games. But um, I do have something interesting to tell you guys. Uh, so right now, the entire left side of my mouth is currently numb. And uh, you might be asking yourself, why the heck is that a thing? Why is that happening? Um, well, to make a long story short, Wisdom teeth are the absolute worst thing in the world. Now, I have been to the dentist, like, multiple times, and they keep telling me, Nah, you don't need to get your wisdom teeth removed. You got plenty of space for them to grow in naturally. You'll be fine. So, kind of glad I don't have to get those removed, because I hear that's incredibly painful and uh, not fun at all. And it can, like, incapacitate you for a couple of days. So, yeah, glad I don't have to go through that. But, on the downside... I have, like, now full adult-sized teeth growing in my mouth, which most of you probably don't remember your teeth coming in, like, when you were a baby, but, uh, teething babies are obviously in a lot of pain and discomfort from that, so imagine that, but you're in your 20s fully aware of it all the time. It's not exactly the most pleasant thing in the world, like, right now, especially, um, I can, like, feel the top of the tooth. Uh, grinding up against, like, the side of my cheek on my mouth. Anytime, like, I open and close my mouth to talk or to eat food, stuff like that. So it's very, very irritating, which is, uh, exactly why I put, like, some numbing gel on the side of my mouth, like, before I started recording, because... Man, I could not imagine doing this entire video without that. Like, I would be in excruciating pain. Like, I still might be in a lot of pain by the time I'm done recording, but at least then I can deal with it not on video, so, yeah, that's sort of why the entire side of my mouth is numb right now. Not really the most interesting story in the world, but it was a story nonetheless, so I figured I would tell it. Alright, um, let's grab that star coin, and we'll be on our way. I actually think you can go in that upper pipe there. Not entirely sure, so, well, let's just play it safe and go down here. If that upper pipe does work, yeah, it actually looks like it does. Um... It just takes you to that upper area up there, making it a little bit easier to, um, I guess get the top of the flagpole, which, again, not really aiming for because golden flagpoles don't matter at all in this game. But there we go, baby, first level down, all three star coins, and we still got a penguin suit. What more could I ask for? Oh no, it's freaking Big Bertha. Yeah, I kind of figured we were gonna have to fight her. Not a huge deal, though. Um, again, this is just one of those save the toad balloon levels. In fact, this one's pretty easy just because Bertha herself doesn't really do a whole lot, and her pattern is, like, really, really predictable. So you should be able to avoid her and grab all the toad balloons. No problemo. There we go, sweet. And what are you going to give me, Mr. Toad? Is it just more mushrooms? Probably. Yes, indeed it is. Cool. All right. Um... I believe the level on the left is going to be 4-2, so let's head up here. Yeah, there we go. And I guess we'll start here. I see you, Wendy Koopa, sitting in your mid-castle. I'm coming for you, don't you worry. Oh, I love this level. I actually remember this one, like, really, really well. So, you know what? I am going to sacrifice my penguin suit for the fireball just because there's a bunch of, you know, cheap cheeps that are going to jump up at us. And uh, the fireballs will... Sort of protect us a little bit from those, but you probably will want to do your best to either jump over them or not jump. That way they don't hit you. Um, this level is like super, super fun to just run through as quickly as you can, though. It's one of those levels that doesn't have a whole lot of obstacles to stop your forward momentum. So, like, if you know how the fish work, you can pretty much avoid them in their entirety and just, like, 
run through this level, and it's so much fun. So, I'm gonna try and do that to a certain extent, because obviously I still need to stop and, like, get all the star coins, but otherwise, I'm just gonna try and go through this level as quickly as I possibly can, and also keep my fire flower. But, um, yeah, no, I would definitely encourage you to just, uh, try and go quickly through this level if you can, because when you nail it, it just feels so good. And, oh, man! Lost the power up right at the end there, but, uh, yeah, look how short that level was, man. Took us no time at all. So much fun. Holy crud. Alright, um, now that we're done with that, and, yeah, we got all three star coins, so, good on us. Um, I guess we'll just make our way over to the right side and take on 4-3. You know, I kind of want to do, like, all the levels in order, at least as much as I can, because, um, in future worlds, there may be sort of map hazards that get in your way, like World 5 specifically has um, this really annoying hazard on the map that can block you out of certain levels at like any given time, so I'll probably have to like play around that once we do get to World 5, but until then we should more or less be able to do most of the levels in the correct order. Alright, so I think the remaining two star coins actually do require the use of the mini mushroom, so not a huge deal that I lost my power up. And, um, I think it's in one of these bricks. There it is, figures it is the last one. But, um, yeah, to get this, all you want to do is, like, run along the water, grab the star coin when the puffer fish is, like, going down, and you should be able to safely grab that. But, we do still want to be mini Mario, so let's try and carefully avoid, like, these enemies and the rocks they're throwing at us, because, you yeah, one hit as mini Mario, and, uh, that's it. You're dead. You gotta be careful. But, um, right down here in this heart is our nice star coin just waiting to be collected. So, we're pretty much good to go now. All I have to do is make sure we don't get hit. Um, I would like to find a super mushroom if I could, but don't really think we're gonna have that opportunity because, yeah, the end of the level is right over here. Not a huge deal, I can just, um, grab one for my inventory because we did rescue that toad, and he pretty much gave us three mushrooms that I can use anyway, so that'll sort of work out for us, but I really don't want to go to the castle as mini Mario, like, that would not work out for us at all, man, at all. Alright, so I think this castle does have a secret exit, at least that cannon. Um, I think that cannon actually will take you directly to World 8, I want to say. I might be wrong on that. I know one of the cannons, like, early on brings you to the final world. Just not exactly sure which one it is. Um, alright, so let's see. Oh, okay, this is this mid-castle, right. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So I guess my advice for you is, uh, simply this. Watch out for the falling steel boxes. If they crush you, you're dead, man. Like, game over. That's pretty much all there is to say about that. Um, the star coins are relatively easy to get. One of them might be kinda hard just because you do need to move quickly and also dodge some falling boxes. Otherwise, though, this level is pretty straightforward. Nothing too difficult going on here. Um, I think there might also be something else I gotta, like, point out, but I'm having trouble thinking of it right now. Um, anyways, whatever. I'll worry about it once I see it. So, I think there actually is another star coin over here. Don't go up to the checkpoint yet. Yeah, head over here to this little hidden room, and, uh, you can grab that second star coin. Now you're free to go and grab this checkpoint. Unfortunately, if you did come up here before grabbing that star coin, uh, you kind of miss out on it for good, which is a little sad, but you know, whatever. What are you going to do, man? Um, all right, so we'll drop that here because we're probably not going to need it anymore. Let's just move on up and grab ourselves the final star coin. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, uh, occasionally they're going to drop, like, metallic boxes in, uh, these small corridors that are not exactly easy to jump over, so that's why there's like different types of these metal boxes, the tall ones and the short ones, so you do need to time your jumps accordingly, that way you don't get locked out of a certain path or smooshed by one of the boxes. Alright, now that we've done that, um, 
Just a few more jumps we ought to make, and we should be at the top. I need to wait for a, uh, small block, though. There we go. That'll work. And again, through another green pipe. And I think this will take us directly to where the final star coin is. Also, to where the secret exit is. So, if you want to get the secret exit, um... Pretty much run directly to the left, but avoid like the first two boxes and then jump into the wall. That's where you'll find the secret exit. The star coin, pretty easy to get. Like they give you a lot of time to avoid the boxes. Climb up and grab that. And now that we have it, well, we're good to go, man. I don't think there's any power-ups here for us to get. So let's just head inside and take on Wendy herself. I'm actually not sure what the... Uh, the gimmick of Wendy is, to be totally honest. I think... Oh, yeah, she just, like, shoots the, um, magic rings that bounce around. They're, like, super easy to avoid, too, so not really that hard. Um, oh, yeah, can I keep this going, man? If I can get her, like, stun-locked, that would be just perfect. And, well, her, there we go, we did it. I was gonna say her, like, magic ring disappeared, but killed her at the same time. I actually didn't think that was gonna happen there. I was kind of trying to jump over her, but it all worked out in the end, so I'm happy, man. That was a pretty good fight. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump all the way over to your castle. Whatever, man. Whatever. Um, wow, surprisingly, we're actually almost done with this world already. It always surprises me, like, how short they are. All right, um... Let's actually jump right back into the castle and go for that secret exit, shall we? I kind of showed you, like, where it is already, so let's go to it. Alright, and we're back up here. Um, yeah, we gotta avoid, like, that first block, run right into this wall, and, uh, we're pretty much good to go with the secret exit. It's pretty straightforward. Actually, um, by the look of, like, this background and sort of level, this might take you to World 6, not World 8. Because I think World 6 is kind of like a mountainy, rocky world, and that's kind of what the uh, ground there reminded me of. Oh, well, whatever. Either way, we're not going to make use of the cannon, so... Not like it really makes a huge difference as to where that takes us. And sure, we'll save. Why not? Don't really need to, but who cares? Anyways, World 4-4, let's do it. I think this one is a mostly underwater level, which, uh, ugh. But you know, whatever, I mean, we've gone several levels so far and have spent minimal time underwater, so... Again, I think Nintendo was smart when they made this game, like, they knew the types of levels that people don't like. Typically, ice physics and underwater levels, so they sort of limited, like, those types of levels, which I appreciate, because, yeah, not a whole lot of people like them. Especially underwater levels, just because they're so incredibly slow compared to, like, the rest of the game. Now, um, we gotta be careful here because, yeah, those guys, basically. I was hoping I could, you know, speed past him, but these stupid squids that freaking launch at you, I cannot swim past them. I don't know why I keep trying. Uh, they're just really, really annoying. Please, no, I was so close! I would've gotten a power-up for that, too! Oh, well, whatever. I'll just take my freaking checkpoint flag, then. Um, I think I do need some sort of power-up to get at least one of the star coins in this level, so I'm gonna try and be a little bit careful here. Um, I don't exactly remember where the first star coin is, but I think I need to hit that P-switch because, yeah, 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 okay. So I gotta hit that P-switch since, um, that freaking yellow pipe I'm pretty sure I'm actually able to swim up it, and that's where I will find the star coin, so let's get up there real quick. And ta-da, there it is. So I think one of these actually does contain a power- Ooh, a mushroom, there we go. Actually, they might both contain power-ups, because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a penguin suit in here, that's what I wanted to get. Also, we do need to freeze this cheap cheap when it's under the coin, since uh, we wouldn't be able to reach it unless we use the cheap cheap as a platform. That's sort of how I knew that there was a uh, penguin suit in here, because I knew the game gave you something to freeze that with. Alright, um, let's try and keep this as long as we can, just because I have, like, some strange feeling that we need it. And hey, a star! You know what, I will take that. Let's just swim through here, man. 
Look at that. Alright, there's the second star coin. We'll grab that real quick. And, uh, if I hit that question mark block, I probably would have gotten, like, another star. But whatever. There's our third star coin. And I guess that's it. Huh. I might have been thinking of, like, a different level then. Because I thought there was, like, something else that I needed to freeze. But, oh well. Guess not. And we are done. That level wasn't so bad, actually. I think I do get, like, a lot of the underwater levels confused with one another, uh, in this game. Like I said, though, it has been a couple of years since I replayed through this game in its entirety, so... I guess you'll have to forgive my, uh, terrible, terrible memory. Alright, the ghost house. Again, I'm pretty sure there is a secret in this one. In fact, I think this is very similar to the ghost house in World 3, where... It's impossible to get all the star coins, uh, in one go, so... I think, very similar to that ghost house, I will start with the secret exit, and, uh... I guess I can make my way back towards the normal exit, and that, that didn't work. I don't know why I tried that. I thought maybe I could jump over them, but, uh... Yeah, these platforms going up and down, not exactly making that easy. I think... There is the star coin. I knew it was under one of these. I couldn't remember if it was this one or the one next to it, but there we go. We got that, and, um... I know there's another secret around here somewhere. I think it might be this one? No, maybe not. It's the next one over? It might be. <laughs> I'm just trying to look for my freaking secret, man! Yeah, it's gotta be... Hang on, let me... It's gotta be this one, right? It has to be. Yeah, there we go. I was looking for that door. So I'm pretty sure this door... Uh, sets us on, like, the path to take the secret exit. So, um, I believe we'll get the third star coin for this level on this path. Like, we'll skip the middle star coin, but, uh, we can go back and grab that, like, when we go to the normal exit. So there we go. We got that. Watch out for these freaking... Ah, god dang, dude. Chill, ghost house. Chill. I'm just trying to freaking you'll get through here without dying. You're not making that easy. Yeah, the uh, homing on those inanimate objects is pretty nuts. You gotta make sure you keep moving, otherwise they will totally hit you. And ooh, okay, that could have been kind of close. This is a little tricky, actually. I'm not gonna lie. These two boos are not really giving me a whole lot of room to work with. So, oh, that was so close. That was like a omega risky jump. Good thing it worked out, though. Um, giant boo. Come here. Just, uh, you stay there. I'll jump over you. Alright, we're good. We're good? We're good, I think. Um, let's head through here, and I think that should be it for the secret exit, at least. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm just, like, glad that we did that. Um, oh, good. Another giant boo. Thank goodness we got that spring. We can totally use that, so... Come on, giant boo. Just, uh... Come a little bit closer, please. Come down here, actually. That would be... There we go. That'll work for me. Um... You know, I could probably just jump over you, so we'll do that. I'm not gonna bother with the spring for the freaking one-up. Who really cares? I just wanted to make sure I got through that level and didn't die. Like, that was the main thing. Alright, cool. Um... So that was the secret exit that takes us off to the left path where that, uh, golden mushroom is. We can also, like, skip a level, I think, and go directly to the castle. But, uh... We're gonna hop back in there, get that remaining star coin and uh just go to the normal exit so yeah real quick let's use a mushroom because i don't know man i like going into levels with at least super mario level of uh power up because it becomes very easy to find a power up at like the beginning of a level then you can get yourself a tier three power up and uh i don't know i feel like that's always a good idea so bam just like that got the freaking ice flower so now we're sitting pretty man um Really, all we gotta do here is make our way to, like, the end of this corridor, and that's how we'll find the, uh, door that'll lead us to, like, the rest of the normal exit path. So let's just try and carefully navigate around all these freaking boos. Thankfully, their positions kind of worked out for us. Um, yeah, there's a P-switch up here that I need to hit, so... Oh, man, I was right there. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. Now we hit it. And uh, let's just clear out those coins. But, uh, yeah, obviously, that's the door we want to go in. I mean, it had a giant arrow pointing to it for crying out loud. So it was pretty, pretty stinging obvious where we had to go. Um, all right, so. Ah, crap, the freaking rats, man. Yeah, this is uh, the only, like, annoying part 
of this level is like the staircase with all the rats because if you spook one of the rats they'll run like the other way and you can take a lot of damage from these guys like they're uh they're pretty scary not gonna lie um all right i think yeah i knew there was something hidden over here it's the final star coin and uh, i don't think this takes us anywhere special um yeah okay that's what i thought man it just dumps you right back down here cool um do i really even care for the one up not really, honestly. So, you know what? Screw you, booze. Let's get out of here, man. I am done with this spooky sinking ghost house. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go to, like, another freaking normal level, man. As much as I do love the ghost house aesthetic, that one was a little scary, man. You know, I just... Too many giant booze creeps me out. You know what I'm saying? Mario ain't ready for that. We need to call Luigi, get him in there with the polter guys, clean up that mess, then... We can go through there ourselves. Less booze, less scary. Alright, um... What? Oh, okay. This is another, uh, freaking Lakitu level, or Lakitu. I don't know why I say Lakitu sometimes. I always, like, switch up my pronunciation of Lakitu. Personally, I like Lakitu because it sounds a lot better. But I've heard people say Lakitu, and that always sounds weird to me. But, uh, occasionally I'll catch myself, like, saying that and be like, Dude, what are you doing? Um, I think... Oh, okay, that just spawns Lakitu. I thought it gave you a cloud. My bad, then. I did not want to do that. At least, um, the Lakitu that you spawn gives you coins. Yoshi, come back. I need you, bro. Bro, chill. All right, jeez. I just ran through half the level again. Um, I don't even know if I really need Yoshi, to be totally honest. Like, I probably don't, but it's better that we have him in case we do need him. Rather than... Ooh, yeah, you like that turnaround 360 gulp? That's pretty good. Oh, you know what? It's a good thing I came up here because there's the second star coin, baby. Nice. Not bad. Um, I think the final star coin is right around here somewhere, but, uh... Oh, hey, just in time. It does require a lack to, because, yeah, there's that pipe up there on the right side of the screen. So, let's head up here. Oh, actually, you know what? I think... Yeah, okay, there's a pipe over on the left side. You can only go up the entrance pipe, guys. Can't go up the exit pipe. It just won't work. Anyways, I do need to spawn a Lakitu. And you know what? You need to die for the greater good. I know you probably don't want to be digested inside like a Yoshi's stomach. But, uh, I gotta get that star coin. Sometimes we all gotta do things we don't want to do, Lakitu. So, it's just how the cookie crumbles, my man. Nothing personal. Although, you did kind of have it coming. Not gonna lie. Anyways, um, you know what, Yoshi? Screw you, man. Our relationship is over. You know, we had a good thing going for a little while, but it's just, it's not working out. Same with you too, Piranha Plant. Um, I just want to, like, kind of end off this level. There we go. Ah, uh, jeez, a whole lot of bad happened, like, right at the end there. But at least we did survive, so that's the important thing. I mean, I could just use, like, another mushroom right before we go into the castle. So, no harm, no foul, pretty much. But dang, dude, I cannot believe, like, we're already done with World 4. I feel like we went through here omega fast, if you know what I mean. Alright, well, let's do the castle and finish this up, shall we? Although I think there is something minor we need to take care of after the castle, but I'll worry about that a little bit later. For now, let's just get through here. These giant, uh, spiky pillars, not really gonna be that big of a threat because, um... I mean, really, you don't have to, like, ever touch that part of the ground. I do actually want to, uh, be behind these metal grates, though. So, yeah, use those little spinny things to put yourself behind, because I'm pretty sure there is a star coin. Yeah, that is behind the grate. So, you can only get that if you're on the back side. Um, if you're on the front side, you're kind of out of luck. So, just go back and turn yourself around, you'll be fine. Honestly, for the most part, though, there's no downside to going on the back side of the grates. Um, I think the second star coin is, like, just plain out in the open, so it doesn't really matter which dimension, I guess you could say, that you're on, because you can just pick it up normally. There's no barrier blocking the way. I think I will need to swap one more time towards the end of this level, just because, uh, yeah, there's this giant, like, metal beam blocking our path. So, let's swap over, and now we can access this door and, uh, finish up this level. The final star coin, I think, is, like, right at the end, so, uh, let's just try and carefully get through this segment. I'm actually gonna play it really safe and slow around here, just because I 
don't want to lose my power up if I can avoid it. Like, I would definitely like to keep... Well, I guess I'm going in with an ice flower then. I kind of wanted to keep the fire flower, but you know what? Ice flower will work. Not complaining. It's still generally the same power up and... Um... If you can give me something good here... Ooh! Propeller. You know what? I will take that. Why? I don't know. Will that help me for the boss? Probably not, but I like the propeller suit, so I'm gonna take it. I don't care. You know what? It might seem stupid. It probably is stupid, but I already did it. You can't stop me. It's in the past now. Oh, okay. I kind of forgot there was an underwater segment to this level. Well, that's kind of strange. You know, it would be kind of cool, like if, um, when Mario was underwater and he had the propeller suit, if, like, you shook the Wiimote, it sort of, like, turned Mario into a submarine or something, and, like, he just ran forward using the propeller to, like, charge through everything. That'd be kind of cool. And that's probably why I forgot the underwater segment existed, because it was negative two seconds long. This is actually what I thought was up next. It's, uh, yeah, a room with one really, really long spiky pillar. Um, I believe at the end of this room is where we're gonna find the next star coin. You know what? Let's just play it safe here. Because uh, I did not trust myself to make it to that third divot. I probably could have like just jumped on one of those platforms and been fine, but uh, whatever. Yeah, so the final star coin is where that pipe is. So let's just uh, try and make our way safely down there. We'll grab that star coin and then go and fight the boss. Um, oh, there's a bunch of fish down here. So you know what? Let's just try and trick these guys into blowing themselves up on the walls and stuff because... Your boy ain't trying to die to no freaking bonefish, you know? I'm just trying to grab a freaking star coin and be on my way, so... Come on, dude. There you go. Um, that's probably safe enough. Let's just, boom, grab that and get out of here. Now, be careful when you leave this pipe because, um... That spiky pillar... Yeah, it can, uh, definitely try and hit you when you're not expecting it, so just be careful of that. Anyways, now we're ready, so, Wendy, let's go. I like your hamburgers, but, uh, you're a little pricey, you know? Not gonna lie. I mean, McDonald's, Burger King, actually, Burger King's nasty. I don't like it, sorry, guys. But McDonald's, you know, they're a little bit cheaper, so sometimes I like to go to them. Their fries are better, too. I don't know why I'm making a fast food joke. It wasn't even funny, guys. It, it wasn't funny. I did it anyways. I'm sorry, alright? Chill. Um, oh, you know what? This propeller suit is not gonna help us out at all here. I kinda regret picking this up. Oh well, I'll make it work, I guess. Um, this one's kinda weird because, yeah, you don't- Wait! How did that not register as a jump? That did, though. What? <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work, but... Whatever, it's fine, man, it's fine. We'll just try and, like, three-cycle her like we did, uh, in the mid-castle. We should be able to pull that off, although the water is about to come down again, so we gotta make this quick! There we go! Uh, thank goodness that did not fill up again, because that was not fun, let me tell you that much. Sweet! So that was pretty easy. Yeah, Wendy, not too hard. Alright, gee, I wonder what's gonna be out here, guys! Perhaps is it Bowser Jr. with the princess? Wow, look at that, it totally is. Uh, hey Bowser Jr., you missed your ride, punk! Heh <laughs> Oh, okay, he's just gonna jump off the castle then. That's fine too. Whatever, man. So this is something new that we haven't seen before, but, uh, World 4 is not over just yet. We're gonna pursue Bowser Jr., and, uh, now there's an airship level. All right, that's kind of cool. Like World 4 gets extended by one extra level, which is pretty fun. So what do you say we jump right in? Get it, because Mario jumped into the ship. I'm funny, guys. I don't know why you don't laugh at my jokes, dude. They're really good. <laughs> They're actually not good, so I don't blame you. All right, Um, just like with any other normal level, yeah, there are three star coins that we need to collect. And a bunch of new baddies like these uh, Mecha Koopas, I think is what they're called. They're kind of just like dumb robots that move back and forth. They're nothing too special. Um, you can sort of jump on them and carry around their mechanical bodies to, I guess, throw at other enemies or break stuff, but that's really about it. Um, otherwise, there's nothing of importance to mention about them. 
So, let's try and head over here real quick, and I think there is, um, yeah, a secret that leads us to, like, the second star coin. It's this pipe over here, so bash through those blocks with your butt stomp, and bam, here we go. Now, be careful, because we are on the underside of the ship, so make sure you, like, constantly press your jump button on these little tiny, uh, I guess... Nuts or whatever these things are like bolts. I don't know, but whatever just jump on them to twist them around and grab yourself the uh, Second star coin and now oh geez. We just got to make our way uh, Back to this pipe so we can enter the ship again I really do not like those things because sometimes like if you press your jump a moment too late as you're landing uh, You almost like fall directly through which can be very very dangerous. So you want to be careful there. All right, um this is actually a little bit of a scary segment because there's a lot of fire and bob bombs and we kind of need to use one of the bob bombs to reach the next star coin. So, ah, geez. Yeah, we need to blow up that one box right over there, which can be a little bit difficult, but I think we got it. There we go. I'm just trying to, like, not get hit by anything else. So with that third star coin, we're pretty much good to go, I think. Um... Yeah, this should take us directly to the boss of the airship, so I guess up we go! And, uh, yes, the boss of the airship is Bowser Jr. himself. Don't worry, though, he's really not that scary, and the game gives us these propeller blocks because we're gonna be using these to basically, uh, fly up and then land directly on top of him. Like, that's really all we have to do. He will try and shoot fire at you, but that's really all he can do, and it's super easy to dodge. So, it's kind of free, guys. I wouldn't worry too much about this particular boss fight, because look at that, we're already done. Take that, Bowser Jr. This is my airship now. It actually would be kind of cool if, like, Mario could just randomly take over the airship and just fly it directly to World 8. And of course, yeah, Cammy's there to save the day. Oh well, looks like it's not our airship after all. Sad day, man. Sad day. So, they're gonna fly away, and we're gonna make our way to World 5, because we're done here. We got all the star coins, and I think as we make our way to World 5, that's where I'm going to end off this video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.